Hello everybody and welcome to The Body Coach TV and welcome to the first workout of 2022. You may have already squeezed one in, but for me this is the first workout I'm doing personally and the first one I'm filming and uploading on my YouTube channel. And if you've followed this channel for a while, you know that I love sharing free content. I try to post regular workouts and really inspire people all over the world to get fit, stay active and really lift their physical and mental health. And that is my aim and that's what this workout is going to do. So, it's a 20 minute workout. As you can see, I'm in a hotel room. There's probably about two, two and a half meters of distance. So I haven't got a lot of lateral movement, but I'm gonna have a great workout. Body weight only, 20 moves, and we're gonna work for 35 seconds and rest for 25 seconds. So, I'll start my timer, and in 30 seconds time, our first move, nice and basic to kick things off, is gonna be a jog on the spot. Just pick our heart rate up. Um, every exercise I'll give you kind of a harder version and an easier version, so if you are super fit you can do the more challenging one, if you're a beginner you can sort of scale it back, um, but yeah let's do it, 20 minutes, 20 different moves and just give it your all and let's just pick up our mood and our energy and feel really fantastic for the rest of the day. So here we go, 5 seconds time, running on the spot for 35 seconds, off we go. So we've got 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest, all the way through for 20 minutes. So lift those knees up, pump the arms, and let's try and pick up heart rate up. Let's go, high knees. If you can, you pick up the intensity and the speed as you go through. 15 seconds left. Come on, 2022, a new year, a new chance to get stronger and to challenge ourselves with every single workout. Come on, and, and relax, right. 25 seconds to recover. Let's go into a lower body exercise. So we're gonna sit down into that imaginary chair, nice straight back, weight in the heels, and stand up tall. If you can't get that deep, just do a shallower kind of half rep, but try and keep your heels on the floor. If you need to turn your feet out a little bit, and off we go. So control it on the way down. Stand up nice and straight, and remember if you can, Try to drive your knees out. Don't let your knees cave in, like push your knees out. Weight in the heels, push through, squeeze the quads and the glutes at the top. So sit low, drive up. Brilliant. If you find that you're coming onto your tiptoes like this, maybe you've got tight calves, your hips aren't quite mobile, turn the feet out, go a bit wider, and that allows you to sit a bit lower whilst keeping the heels of the feet on the floor, hopefully. The last few seconds, and, and rest, perfect. Next one, another one for the legs. So standing up, let's just get the technique right on this one. Feet together, step back. We're gonna do 40, uh, 35 seconds on this right leg, and then we'll switch. So just stepping that right leg back, and then feet together. Now try and keep shoulders up, chest, uh, chest up, shoulders back, and step back. Drop the back knee, and then back to the center. So if you can't go right down, that's okay. You might have tight hip flexors and quads, then just do a shallower squat, uh, lunge. Obviously work up towards sitting this back knee right down towards the ground and driving up. 35 seconds on the right, then we switch and we do 35 seconds on the opposite side. So this year is all about consistency, right? I wanna keep reminding you about these things, the same things, I repeat the same things over and over, like <clears throat> consistency with your sleep, with and rest with your exercise, with your food. It's just about consistency, keeping it up and knowing that you're not gonna be perfect every day, but just keep coming back to the workouts, keep moving your body, and know that every time you come back, you're gonna feel better, you know, more energy, you're gonna feel more motivated. So the motivation is at the end of the workout. It's always waiting for you. So now we're gonna step that left leg back. Let's go, so feet together, step back. Again, with any of my workouts, if you find they're too easy, hold a couple of dumbbells when you get to these kind of moves and you can make it much more intense. You can make things easier or harder depending on how strong you are. And yeah, another thing I'm gonna get to think about this year is progression, right? The principle of progression. So if we repeat the same workout over and over again with the same weight, we're not really gonna give our body a chance to adapt and grow. So always think about, you know, two more reps or one more kilogram on the dumbbells these little, these little gradual progressions, they really make a difference. They make your body, you know, change and adapt and, sh you know, grow. You're going to build muscle. 
whilst burning fat. So always think about progression, progression, right. Next exercise, we're gonna stay on our feet. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of a cardio move, so call these uh, clap under. So we're just gonna lift our knee up and clap the hands underneath the legs. Are you ready for 35 seconds? Let's go. So remember, it's 20 moves. And if you ever get to a workout and one of the moves doesn't feel right for you, and you can't do it, just adapt to switch it out for something else, like another jog on the spot or a, a plank or something, or miss it out. Have it all rest. Come on, knees up, 15 seconds. Drive that knee up nice and high, hands coming underneath the knees. Next exercise, we're gonna go down on the ground. So let's go. Three, two, one, and relax. So, it's quite a hard floor. If you are on a hard floor, you might want to get a little towel or a mat. But we're going to go for some um, mountain climbers now. So, high plank position. If you find this too difficult to go fast like this, just go slow. So bring the foot in, out, in, out. Obviously, it's quite a lot of pressure on the wrist. If you find it too difficult, you can always put a couple of blocks here or a step. Makes it a bit easier on the wrist. Let's go. So knees to chest. Knees to the chest, bring them right up. Obviously you can go slow, or go for the speed. But you push the knees in, drive them in as quick as you can. Locking the arms out. Hands are just underneath the shoulders. And a lot of people tend to do this with their man clothes, but load your abs by coming into the plank. So it all starts from there. Squeeze those abs, drive the knees towards the chest. Come on, push. And and relax. Excellent. Right, we get on our feet. Right, so you'll start to feel your heart rate elevating, your energy will start to pick up. And at the end of it, that's why I say that's that's where the feeling you're looking for is. The motivation, the energy, the sense of achievement. So keep going, don't give up. Next exercise, we're gonna do a little bit of a squat variation. We're gonna squat down and step to the side. So it's kind of lateral squat. So we step, squat, step. Squat, perfect. If you want to make this tougher, you can jump into it. So like do a squat, jump, left to right. That's obviously much harder. Keep it going, you've got another 15 seconds on the clock. Squat down low, come on. This is number seven of 20. It's a short workout, 20 minutes is gonna be over really quick. Last couple of reps. And and relax. Right, next I'm gonna do, again, cardio move. Starting on the spot. <coughs> We're gonna run on the spot and throw fast punches. So bring the arms in. Really think about bringing the knees up high and stretch those arms so you're gonna work everything. Oh, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So run and punch on the spot. Really get those arms up. Straight punches. Come on, think about heart rate. What I want out of you is the highest possible heart rate on every working set. So push it up, drop it down on the rest. That's hit training. Come on, intervals. 10 seconds. Nice and quick. That's it. Four, three, two, and one, relax. I was reading an article the other day about a study into anxiety and they said that the higher the intensity, the greater the reduction of anxiety and stress after the workout. So try and think about it, try and think, the more I put into this, the harder I train, the better I'm gonna feel because your brain it really starts to release chemicals that completely change the way you feel. So bear that in mind. Next exercise, squat hold. This is the strength exercise for the legs. Squat down and hold, squat and hold. So we're gonna sit in this position, Try and hold that. Weight in the heels. Arms out nice and straight in front. We're loading the quads here, so we're really trying to sit back into that imaginary chair. Legs are burning up now. Hold it. Hold it. Come on. Hold. Last 10 seconds. Right, sit down again. Go another inch lower. Hold it. Hold the weight in the heels. Strengthen the quads. Drive those knees out. And rest. Right, good news. That's nine moves complete. Number 10. 
We're gonna go down onto our knees now for a press up. So if you can do full push ups, you're gonna go for the full push ups, right? If not, it's knees on the ground, hands just sort of run under the shoulders. So don't go super wide, a bit narrow. Tuck those elbows in and press. Let's go. So the aim here is to try and like really bring all your body weight forward. So don't just bend like this. Bring your weight forward so your weight comes onto your chest and triceps. I know it's tough if you haven't got the strength, but trust me, the way to get strong at push-ups is to do more push-ups. So if you're not quite getting chest to floor yet, just do this, half reps. Half a rep. You're gonna develop the strength in that upper range, and then when you get stronger, you'll be able to lower yourself down and press right out loud. This is working your chest and triceps. Yeah, so when you go wider, it kind of works your chest, but it does a lot of shoulder. When you bring those hands and you tuck the elbows in, that really, really hits the triceps. So a great way of, you know, focusing the back of the arms. Okay, next up. I like to call this the truffle shuffle. Now normally I shuffle right way across the room. If you can, shuffle as far as you can, left and right. If you're like me in a narrow position, you just go like this. You go left, right. And you can really do this in the smallest of spaces, look. Left, right. Touch, those, touch the floor each time. Whether you shuffle left or right, fingertips to the floor. Come on, let's go. One. This is number 10 of 20. No, it's number 11. It's number 11. Sorry, I miscounted. Touch the floor. Come on. Deep breaths. And, and relax. Okay, catch your breath. All right, one thing you'll find out hit training, even if you are super fit, it's always challenging, it never feels easy, it's what it's about. It's just a short burst of effort to get that mental high, to get that energy and to, to burn as much energy as you possibly can. Next up, star jumps. Hands on the head, let's go. So if you're not following me on social media, get me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at The Body Coach because I share a lot of healthy recipes and also just daily motivation on, you know, keeping at it. On the days you feel like you don't want to do it, I will motivate you to come back and try another workout. All right, come on. 10 seconds. Nice and quick, I'll move that body. Let's go, four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, we're gonna keep things moving, keep the heart rate up. We're gonna go into a, what I call a knee smash. Hands on the head, and then whoosh, whoosh, drive that knee as if you're smashing your hands into your knee really, really quick. And just think about heart rate again. Push it up. Whoosh, 2022, this is it, new year, eh? Come on, this is my first session of the year. Right, go, stretch. Arms up, drive that knee. Really bring it up, you're gonna feel your abs having to work by driving that knee up. And we're gonna ramp it up now, we're gonna pick up the intensity, come on. One, two, one, two. Stretch, pull. Deep breaths, come on, 10 seconds. Can you go to the bell? All the way. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, 13 moves complete, seven to go. So next up, in a position like this, we're gonna do nice, fast, I don't know what it's called. I don't know, it's just called a running man. So running man, all spot, arms up, and sort of scissors with the legs. Uh, okay, let's go, come on. Start the year as you mean to go on. I'm talking a lot this year about changing your mindset around exercise and not doing it because you have to, because you can, and because it's about all about your mental health. You get the mind right and the body will follow, the physical transformation comes, but you've got to come back for the right reasons. It's not about fat loss, that's a byproduct. Come on, let's go. Five, four, speed up. Three, two, one. I do believe that. All about the mental health this year, we need it. Right, 
Okay, options. If you're super fit, you're gonna do this. Chest to floor, burpee. All right? If you're a beginner, a bit slower, hands on the ground, step back, step forward, reach up. Slow motion version, let's go. Step back, step, and up. As many of those as you can in 35 seconds. We're blowing out, we're out of breath. We're blowing, we're pushing it. Heart rate's getting up there. Stretch, step back, and reach up. Come on, nearly there. Last 10 seconds. Hands on the head every time. Come on, last one. Reach up, recover, sweat is dripping. We've got five more minutes to go, five more moves. We're gonna go down after an abs exercise on a plank. So beginners, it's elbows and knees. And what we wanna do is just lift ourselves up, brace that core and hold. If you've got more strength, knees off the ground, hold that, let's go. So 35 seconds. So think about shoulders, sorry, elbows under the shoulders. We're not dipping, we're not up here like this. We're trying to build that strength in your core by bringing the, really sort of increasing the gap between your elbows and feet and then trying to squeeze your abs up. Like visualize your flat tummy pulling your belly button up towards your spine. Good, keep breathing. Keep breathing. And rest. Oh, okay, we're gonna stay. Stay down on the ground. Next exercise, we're gonna do a slow, kind of a walk in with our hands. So we're gonna be up on our hands at this. We walk the feet in, out, out, in. Okay, so you walk in, out, out, in. Really slow, this is a, again, this is upper body, but also your core. So let's go walk the feet in. So you're in the feet, out, walk them out, in, repeat. So you're gonna feel your shoulders burning now and your, oh, your chest and triceps going, I'm gonna wanna give up. That's fine if you need to shake them off, just come back in. Step out, in, keep the abs tight, and out. Shoulders are gone. Right, amazing. Three more minutes, three more moves. I call these power squats. If you can't do power squats, you can just step, like a sort of just a slow squat, right? If you wanna make it tougher, we go feet in, and we go out. The power squat, a bit more dynamic, a bit more explosive. Fingertips to the floor. Let's go. So nice straight back, straight ahead. Arms straight, fingertips to the floor. Come on. This is it. Last three moves. We kick the year off with a win. And I'm all about daily wins, right? Even if your food's not great today, at least you, at least you get work it and that's one win, right? They add up. One small win a day, whatever that may be. Come on, 10 seconds. Small wins for me are getting an extra hour of sleep, cooking one healthy meal, doing one hip workout, doing one mega meditation, or whatever it may be, that's one little win. Do a couple of them a day, they add up. Oh. Okay. Whew. Right. Oh. We're gonna do a low sprint now, so rather than have the knees up higher, a bit lower, sort of lean forward, and just a little low sprint, let's go. Let's go, come on, come on. Everything you got now, let's go. Heart rate, push it up. Let's go, 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 push. The lower spin, low spin. Oh. I've got to stop talking, haven't I? Just yapping away, not getting the breath in. All right, come on, keep going. All right, 10 seconds, come on. Push, push, push. How fast can you move your body now? Come on. Me, that has, that's done me, right. 
Okay, next exercise. Final one to finish. If you can, we're gonna do this. Squat jump, right? It's quite intense, that's too difficult. Just do a nice set. Body weight squats to finish. So squat jumps or squats, let's go. Whatever works for you. This is the last 35 seconds. Big muscle group the legs, let's make them work. Get them legs involved. Come on. So I'm landing soft, up, as high as I can. Ah, quite a burning out. 15 seconds. Come on. Last push, come on, this is it. This is the intensity we want to get used to training at. Getting uncomfortable, pushing ourselves. It transforms our mind and body. Come on, last jump. Ah. So I mean, that workout, 20 minutes. Look, I didn't have any room, no equipment. I've had a good workout, that's me done for the day. That's it, that's all I need. Hope you enjoyed that session. And look, with the YouTube channel, there's so many workouts to choose from. There's beginner, there's low impact, there's intermediate, there's easy on the kneesy, there's super advanced savage hits. There's loads for you to try out. Give it a go. If you want more structure and a meal plan to follow, you wanna give it a bit more focus. I've got the Body Coach app, which is on Android and iOS. It's called the Body Coach. Check it out. That can really help you and uh, help you transform your life this year. But thanks for joining me on the Body Coach TV. Uh, whatever happens, keep coming back. I'm gonna be sharing more content on here. Have a great start to your year and well done for choosing a Body Coach workout and completing it with me. Thank you so much and Happy New Year, everybody.